This poem shall only be recited in music pieces, legends, and newborn cries. It is the soul in an hourglass, but yet timeless. It is the marching soldiers singing songs of victory. It is faith. It is oppression to the oppressors. It's a master's whip. It is a slave. It is excruciating pain. The scream of a woman giving birth to the world. It is the chains we broke from the ships that carried our fathers to slavery. It is a boy who prefers to play with Barbie dolls over toy soldiers. A girl who prefers to wear trousers over dresses. It is acceptance. It has no gender, no race, no binaries. This peace is acceptance. It is a bullied young boy learning to survive. An African young girl learning that makeup will never make her any more beautiful than she she is and to my African queens, to my African queens, you don't have anything lost on your bodies to make up for. You are more beautiful and original than you could ever be. This poem is the skies that cannot cry. Pavements made with the black bodies of our brethren. It is the stars and stripes painted with the blood and sweat of our brethren. It is a countless and nameless graves filled with the white bones of our black brothers and their names. Their names shall never be blown away into nothingness. It is Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, Francis Bacon. It's a lie called a mystery. It is El Haj Malik, El Shabazz, Dr. King, Chico Vera Castro, Marcus Aurelius, Gavin, Peter Tosh. It is legacy, the land of the upright man, pan Africanism that can never be eliminated by method of assassination. Call it Sankara, Lumumba, and every African child. It is a countless years of struggle. The wisdom and liberty that can never be assassinated call it 27 years in prison yes call it Jeff Masimula it's a balcony you can ask Dr. King or James Ray and his conspiracy clouds it is the first son of Africa call it the great Kwame Nkrumah it is the greatest Afro athlete in history call it Bo Jackson Jesse Owens or Cassius Clay it is a gun assembled in 1947 by a Russian man a gun celebrated by people for killing other people it is the capital punishment rope but it's not an eye for an eye it is the judgment waiting for zima men driven in haven it is the oil that hangs saddam hussein the seas that swallows migrants it is a diamond that tours around the world but has never been seen by its people a diamond larger than its price it is the internal trade in african currency that made it gaddafi call it gold dinam it is the words that needs to be echoed from generation in to generation out and further on the african currency in african india Dependency architected by the first son of Africa, Wamin Guruma. It is the ears that listen, the heart that laughs, and the hands that do call it Mozama Impo, the men who influence the naming of our country to what it is today. And with this poem, with this poem, I am marking your grave for the brave ex brother. And may your legacy, may your legacy forever live on. Live on, live on, brother of the soul. The all must know and solo it. It is a hated prison in his wife, a dying prison in his wife. It is a glitter in statue of a president who never died for the liberation of his people and I promise you, I promise you his maggots, his maggots are gonna be of gold. It is a missing for me media, a tower that fell 28 minutes before it was bombed. It is a bomb that left many children as orphans in Syria. It is what they want us to know and what they don't want us to know. Call it total control. It is an African brother who prays for Texas people and forgets his dying brothers and sisters in Sierra Leone, Malawi and Mozambique. It is a black child accused of a crime he never committed. This peace, this peace is a peace of message to a person who taught a black man how to hold a gun and to all, to all the sons and daughters of the soul who met your
your faith through a gun May your souls, may your souls rest in eternal peace It is a black man shot and killed with his hand in the air It is a black child who crossed the road and never came back A mother with a broken leap but is still able to kiss her children goodnight It is an undressed woman, a raped woman, a murdered woman who cannot speak for herself It is a gun to his head, a knife to her back It is a teardrop against human behavior Black people, black people let us stop dehumanizing each other We are better than that This poem is the road we shall all remember in the end when there will be no other way. It is humanity with a black eye.